once you've logged into your computer, you will find your Quadranet icon. And here at the bottom, it's usually a swirl that you'll be looking for. When you go to sign in, use your domain, username, and password. Once you've logged in, it will take you to your main desktop page, and this is where you can search your patients. There's a couple different ways you can find them. In the unit, patient, box, it will show everybody that's on the medical floor. Up here at patient search, this is where you can search individual patients. You'll have to select their status, so whether they're active, discharged. Um, you can select all patients if you want, if you're looking for somebody that's not here anymore. And you can either enter in their last name and first name. And it will show you your patient. You can type in their medical record number if you want. And it will pull up every visit that they've had with us here at the hospital. You, you want to look through these and make sure that you're selecting the correct visit. The status on the correct visit usually is active. Or if you're searching for someone that's been discharged, just check for the start, start and stop date. Make sure you pick the correct one. If you actually search their visit number, which is this number right over here, it will take you straight to that visit, so you won't have to wonder if you have the right one or not. If you select that, you can press Enter. Actually, when you, when you type in your visit number, you're going to want to put a V first before it. And it will always let you know that you're accessing a patient chart. So you're going to want to say yes or no. If you say no, it won't let you in. But just so you know, once you've selected yes, it will take you straight to that patient chart. This is what the main page will look like. If you look over here on the left, you'll see that you are currently in you know, Riley Labs chart. If you need to get out of this screen and go back to your main desktop, you can always go to the, your big house, which is up here at the top and it will take you back to your main screen. And that little tab on the left hand side stayed there so you can flip back and forth if you need to. So say you got into a different chart, so say Tommy Green, you select them, you let them it's letting you know you're, you're getting into their chart. You say yes and it will take you into her, his chart. And then you can see that you can flip through Riley's, Ri Riley's chart, Tommy's chart, or you can go back to your main desktop. Another way you can find your patients is through this assigned patients box. So if you come in and you have three patients that you'll be taking care of, you can actually assign them to yourself or your instructor may do that for you, I'm not sure. But if you want to assign them to yourself, you can go down to this staffing box and do self-assignment. Here in Quadramed, you're always going to want to read your prompt. So it says select scheduled date time to edit or choose an option. I want to add um, a scheduled date and time. You're going to select the floor that you're on, which is the medical floor, and then you'll enter a specific time and date. It's usually right at the beginning of your shift. I'll put now for an example, I guess. We'll just look at now. And then it will create an event for you. So you'll select the event you just created, say OK, and you're going to select the patients that you want. So if there's more than one, you hit the control button and select you know, multiple or just one patient, whichever one you want, say OK. And then it will show you who you've selected. If you want to add more, say that the, in that first list you didn't see all the patients that, that you needed. So you'll add the ones you do need, say OK, and then if you want to add more, select your Add button, and it will pull up all of the patients on the medical floor. You'll go under Student Nurse, and you'll select, say you need RSVCs as well. These grayed out options already show you the ones that are already selected. so. You want to select your third option here, say OK. It will show you everybody that you have, say OK again, and then accept assignment. Once you've done that, you can select OK again, and it will take you back to your main desktop page. You'll need to refresh this box in order for them to populate in there, and then you can see them. This way, when you log in and out for the day, you won't have to search through this whole long list of medical floor patients. You can just find yours pretty, pretty quickly. What's nice about that option, if you go to your work list box over here, 
it will show you um, your work list for each patient so that you, that's assigned to you. Now this isn't the only way to get to your work list, but it's a pretty quick way if you need to look really fast without actually having to get into a patient's chart. The rest of these tabs here just kind of let you look through who needs vital signs taken, who needs a daily weight, who needs a specimen collection, so say someone needs a UA collected, that will populate here. Um, anybody that needs their blood sugar drawn, it will let you know. So it looks like Riley Lab needs their blood sugar drawn. And you can chart them from this box here if you want. So in order to log out, I guess we can go over this nursing review too. This box here will just show you everybody that's on the medical floor and if they have recent events, actions, stats, abnormal values on them, you can go in. So say it looks like Riley has one event that needs to be looked at. You can select it. In order to make this bigger, it hits this expand arrow and it'll show you what they have going on. So it looks like there was an order that was, that was scheduled. So you can select it and it'll show you that it looks like they, someone placed an order for a blood sugar check. And this is just to review the order. If you hit F for final, it will take it away. Now, obviously, you'll only be doing this on the patients that are assigned to you, but this is a quick, easy way to see if, like, oh, maybe my patient has a new, uh, new order that the doctor's scheduled, or maybe they have an abnormal vet lab value that came back, and it's just a quick, simple glance at what you're, what's going on with your patient without actually having to get into their chart. Okay, so to log off, you'll come to this log off key. If you're not logging off with the log off key and you're doing the little X box here at the top, it'll actually keep your sessions open and eventually lock you out of Quadrumet altogether. And then you'll have to call us to get you unlocked. So always get in the habit of logging off with the log off key.